this episode, we find out the journey of a sheepdog, their personalities, their highs and lows, and how you train a sheepdog. Freddy Farms started off in 1994, taking in rescue dogs, which were mainly collies, and training them up. They moved from London in 2002, down to Devon. Since then, they have trained up over a hundred dogs, all along with her partner, Julian. Right, shall we get started? The most vital information in training any dog is you must be patient. If you're impatient, your training will fail. Dogs can pick up on human emotions and this can affect their ability. Every dog will also have their naughty moments. These guys are the troublesome teenagers at 18 months to two years when their hormones kick in. The first stages in training a sheepdog is using your body language. From whatever age they learn to sit, wait or run, to the left or the right depends on which way your shoulders are pointing. In their first stages, it's easier for the dog to understand. Too much can cause a dog to fail at a simple task. These basic commands are introduced at 6 to 12 months, where they learn to be obedient. As the dog progresses, then you put a command to it. This is when the dog is 12 to 18 months old, using whistles or words. A whistle is known to be more effective as its projection can also carry better too. Whoever you use a whistle or a word is dependent on the owner. You are now teaching the dog to move left to right. Here are their meanings. This means come by. Away. Stop there. Walk on. Freddy trains different dogs for different reasons. But as always, they've been trained with sheep. This way, the skills they have learned can be taken onto different animals, such as cattle and ducks. Dogs need the time to let him or herself work out the situation. Their natural instincts tell them not to let them go through the gate. Sheep want to be together as a herd. Ain't that right, Ace? Dogs want to get life experience as young as possible. Training them in a different field or place is essential. Otherwise, the dog will only learn to do what it knows in a particular place. The final stages in training is the dog life experience. Time to free them into the field and let their instincts take over. During the dog stages through life, every dog has their quirks and fears. Ace was sadly run over by a quad bike. He's been rather cautious ever since. When rewarding your dog, you need to treat them more like a puppy than an older dog. That means you too, Blue and Lulu. Lulu, go back, go back, go back. The most rewarding back. treat for a dog is actually back. working the sheep back. and pleasing its owner. Telling your dog off is never easy, but they have to learn a lesson depending on the situation and the dog itself. The most powerful and effective way of telling a dog off is using your voice along with your body language, which can be just as effective. Once you have projected your voice and the dog responds, it's time to take a break and leave each other alone. <laughs> Then you come back together with some cuddles. Ace, get up. Ace, get up. Occasionally, Freddie and Julian go to country shows to show off their wonderful skills with these dogs. Within these shows, they heard ducks and children. Their very first dog display was in 2005. That's it then for a sheepdog journey. Cheerio.